Now, you might not have heard of it, but it is certainly not as festive as it sounds. Authorities are warning a debilitating condition known as Christmas Eye is on the rise in Victoria this summer. It's caused by a tiny beetle and it mainly occurs around the Albury Wodonga region. Kelly Gibbons is an optometrist there and she's treated plenty of cases. She joins us now. Thank you for joining us. So tell us, what exactly is Christmas Eye? Uh, Emma, Christmas Eye is essentially a really nasty corneal ulcer that happens at the front of the eye and they think, like you said, it's caused by a little tiny beetle uh, and when that beetle gets into the eye, something inside that beetle essentially melts the surface layers off the cornea, which is just horrendous for the poor person affected. So what do people tell you, what does it feel like for them? Well, I've heard people compare it to childbirth, but I've, having never Ooh. given birth and having never had Christmas eye, I don't know that. Um, but when they rate the pain, they usually rate it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. So it is just, um, you know, these pe people are in abject misery. They come into the, the waiting room and they're just sitting like this. In fact, they're usually led into the waiting room by some poor family member trying to help them. So we just saw some uh, pictures which hopefully people weren't eating their breakfast of a very sore looking red eye. <laughs> so it's caused by oh, this... Horrible. It is. It's, it's caused by this beetle. And obviously it's really, really tiny. So how do you even know that that's what's caused it? Because you can't really see this beetle, can you? Well... To be honest, we don't know. We don't know for sure. I'd like the fame and fortune that comes with discovering what causes Christmas Eye. But um, we think essentially because it happens between about 5 o'clock and about um, sort of sunset that people are usually outdoors at that time. There's nearly always a history of them having been outside mowing, um, that there's something in the grass at that stage that, that sort of comes up and gets in the eye. But people don't always remember having gotten something in their eye. Um, and certainly by the time I see the patient, I can't find anything. It's been washed out of the eye by all the watering that's gone on. So we don't know for sure what causes it, but we postulate that it's a little beetle. So then how do you treat it once you, once you eventually diagnose it? Because how hard is it to diagnose then in the first place? Do you have to just eliminate Oh, it's not hard things? to diagnose at all. Okay. Um, in fact, most people will, um, will sort of come in and say, I think I've got Christmas eye mm. in this area. Um, because the person is just in so much pain, you can look at them in the waiting room until they've got it. Mm. But when we look at the front of the cornea, you can see the surface of the cornea is, um, is essentially um, blistered and, and, and ulcerated. Um, and really the treatment is about managing the pain, essentially, and preventing infection. So um, we will give the patient some anti-inflammatories and in some cases, if the pain's really bad, we can put a, a bandage contact lens on the eye um, and that contact lens will just stop that eye from scraping back and forth over the damaged cornea um, and then it's just pain management you know Panadol and and lie down and rest and essentially you've just got to hunker down for a few days and hang in there and deal with the pain until that surface of the cornea grows back again. So you said you think it's sort of happening because it's it's a you know, certain time of the day or in the evening when when people start to get this this you know awful scratching in the, in the eye is there any way to prevent Actually, it? Actually, what's interesting is it doesn't really affect um, the eye straight away. So mm -hmm. the, they might get the little bug in their eye, but they don't really notice the pain until they wake up at about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning just with excruciating pain. So is there any way to prevent it then? Um, well, I, I don't know if there's any way to prevent it unless you stay inside from about 5 o'clock to sunset every day. But um, if I answer that question in a different way, if you were trying to get it, you might suggest that, um, that uh, you could go out uh, and mow the lawn, mow some really long grass sometime between 5 o'clock and, and sunset each day and keep your eye open nice and wide and then if you get a bug in your eye, give it a, a good rub and, you know, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't wish this on your worst enemy. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's any way to truly avoid it. Well, I think if anyone wants an excuse not to mow the lawns, they've got it now. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so why are we seeing a rise at the moment, do you think? Look, I don't really know, but I postulate that it's probably got to do with the fact that we've had a really wet lead up to summer and the grass is really high. And I imagine whatever causes Christmas eye lives in, in that tall grass. So they used to call it harvester's eye. Farmers are really prone to it. But look, it's not common, but uh, you really want to try and avoid it if you can. Uh, yes, I think we would all like to avoid that. Thank Kelly Gibbons, thank you yeah. so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.